Well, welcome back to 2017 here at Lawson's Leichhardt. And the purpose of this podcast is to highlight up to nine items per week that could be or may not be of any interest to you. And uh, to help me uh, in this uh, quest is Adam McDonald on my right here, and of course, Peter Moraker. So let's not hesitate, straight into it. Adam, what have you got for us this week? Well, it's, um, it's good to be back in this hot tin shed down here at, um, uh, in Leichhardt. Degrees. 40, 40 degrees, it was 47 the other day, let's not beat around the bush. But my first item is this good early set of shop counter kettle weights. Um, I'm not sure why, but there's, there's quite a number of collectors of weights. There seem to be. Um, I remember as a, an apprentice, I was told to go to the hardware shop and ask for a long weight. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, I did it, I went. But um, these are quite decorative, they're solid brass. They'd be for a butcher or maybe a postmaster or something like that. My guesstimate, 8120. But the good thing about this lot is it does come with some corkscrews. So what we do here, if the lot would attract a bit more attention if we have multiple mm. items, you've got a good set of early corkscrews. Um, again, good piece of yesteryear, um, all good condition, still functional. And yeah, 8120 for my first lot. Sure, and uh, of course, no one under 21 knows what to do with those corkscrews. <laughs> I would say no one under 30. <laughs> yeah. Over to you, Pete. What have you got for your first one? Oh, well, the first one I've chosen is a decorative cast iron urn. So it's a uh, very eye-catching decorator item. Probably a little bit too big to, to be turned into a lamp. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that old though, is it? No, no, it's a reproduction good and one, um, one. that's why the shape is a little bit, uh, bit away from the classical. The subject matter is a little bit freelance, but it is still a very decorative item. Okay, money. Um, I think about four to six hundred. I think you were saying more. Yeah, eight to twelve. I'm in on that one. Eight to twelve. Yeah. Well, I like to well, be conservative. I guess I'm six to eight. <laughs> right Picking in the middle. Um, uh, now, for my first item, I will probably go with this timber coffer here. So it's a what we call in the trade an apprentice coffer. So prior to becoming a qualified carpenter, you'd have to prove yourself with one of these apprentice pieces, and they'd be made to scale. Uh, this is in all in oak. Um, I was hoping it might be around about mid 19th century because the coffers obviously pre, um, pre you know, they're, they're the predecessor to wardrobes. You just kept all your belongings in here, uh, clothes, etc. Um, but uh, Peter seems to think it's probably not that old. And uh, now that I have a look at the back of it, it has some nails in there, so I might be more with you. But anyway, look, let's say it's turn of the century. We'll meet. Yes. We'll yeah, split the difference, yeah. but it, it's beautifully made for an apprentice piece. So it can be uh, a bit clunky, uh, but all the proportions are right, and I'm giving it three to four hundred. So that's the apprentice coffer. Now over to you, Adam. What have you got for number two? Next one's a bit of a curio, and the best thing about like about this auction game is is stuff that I find really fascinating, but it's absolutely useless. This is it. This is a. <laughs> I'd say an, a couple of employees. Yes, I could name a few. <laughs> This is, uh, I'd say it's a 1950s ceramic male head. Oh, I, it's, it'd be, uh, it'd be hand painted. Faster. And it's not, a, it's not a Bonds one. No, it's not a Bonds one. But this would have been used in a shop to display hats, would be my guess, or sit on top of a mannequin or something like that. Um, but like I said, it's, he's, he's, he's quite a handsome fellow. He's a bit, he's a bit battered, which is what I like. Um, but you know, it's just a good little curio and that's what we love about the auction game. Not a great deal of money, 40, 60. Thank you, Adam. Decorative and useless. Peter, what have you got here for number two? I can, I can actually back that up. I've got exactly the same sort of category, a, uh, a probably mid 20th century Italian pottery leopard, um, very large scale, somewhere to put into a corner of a room, mm. maybe on top of a console. I think mm. very decorative. We've had them before. Um, so, so they're not rare articles, but not common either. And usually we put an estimate of around two to 300 on those. Do you like it? I love it. It reminds me of when I grew up in the western suburbs of Melbourne. It'd be like the, the Italian next door neighbours where we'd have the tire swan and they'd have the ceramic panther or leopard. Beautiful, beautiful part of the late 70s, early 80s. Okay, let's go to a couple of Irish hurling sticks. At least I think that's what you call them. So hurling is like uh, hockey in the air. Dreadfully violent sport. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, I saw a, um, a terrible brawl in a Glasgow pub involving some of these sticks after a game once. Um, anyway, I got out of there fairly quickly. Um, I think they're fantastic. What do you do with them? Oh, you just cross them and put them on a wall or frame them like that or something. Yeah, but, uh, oh, do you like them? No. 
No surprise. Sorry. No surprise. Anyway, I'm going to put uh, 60 to 80 on them, but I expect them to go to up to 100 or so. Uh, Peter. And so for me, the last object then um, is a Georgian style wing back armchair but a sort of Edwardian 1920s copy. Mm. Um, the best part about it is the bold shape of the, the back with the nice big ears and the rolled arms. Upholstery is okay, gold velvet. I would say at auction 100 to 200. I, I'm hoping it's going to be the up, upper end. Righto, so that's, uh, that's you, Pete. Over to you, Adam. Last, um, but by far not least, is these big cast metal panels that I've picked out of the sale. Now, I think the, the lace work or cast iron work is early, but they've been welded into later frames and put on stands. Very, very decorative things. Um, you sit them in your garden, have a no, nice little uh, creeper vine growing up them. Um, you can put them in your hallway with a lovely little lamp underneath it to cast a really nice shadow. Yeah, I think, they're, I think they would be the pick of what's in this week's sale, and I'm at eight to 1,200 for the pair. There's two of them, eight to 12. Really? And I think that'd be cheap. I do like them, and I'm a big fan of bringing things from the outside into the inside. Mm. Room divider, Room whatever divider. you want. Moving on to my next um, item, and keeping in theme with the, uh, with the timber. These are pretty ordinary looking boxes, um, incredibly well made, and they're all, well, they're all turn of the century, probably, or early 20th century. But the reason I like them, and they're not all non-matching, they're all different sizes, though, and they have slightly different interior fit-outs. I am a big fan of decluttering. When you come in from home, you've got pockets full of everything, right? So your keys go down, your mobile, your wallet, everything. I like the idea of having three boxes. They can even be attached to your side table. And you come in and each member of the family has maybe got one box. And when someone comes to visit, like your mother-in-law, you're all clean and tidy, ready to go. And it's still it's got a decorative purpose. So then again, it's that, that bringing the, the old world into the new world. The new um, functional world. Yeah, yeah and, and giving it actual function. Great looking things. Money? Oh, two to three hundred. Okay, well that's, uh, that's our nine lots for this week. I hope you've enjoyed viewing. Uh, get online, lawsons.com.au or get on down here at Leichhardt on Thursday and Friday to take a look. Uh, there will be a cool change Wednesday night, so uh, with a bit of luck we'll be less than 46 degrees, which it is right about now. And of course, come on down to the rooms from any time from nine o'clock Thursday onwards. Have a good week.